I have too many sets of wheels. We got wheels in the house. We got wheels in the garage. We got more wheels in the garage. We got a wheel in the garage. What the hell is this? I got wheels all over the basement. So with all these wheels, I'm making a point. I'm getting rid of them. I'm done. I'm over it. Too many wheels going on and I'm running out of space in my little house. So the Heritage Okaimas are the first ones to go and somebody's picking them up in a snowstorm. They actually sold in one day. So I was pretty happy about that. Shout out to Heritage. I did love these wheels. I had these custom made specifically for the Supra. They're 19s, 19 by nine and a half plus 17 in the front, and then 19 by 11 plus 30 in the rear. I had this illusion cherry face. Uh, I almost tipped over. <laughs> I had this illusion cherry face put on here along with a gloss black lip, satin black hardware, and then satin black inner barrel. Pro tip, satin black inner barrel is the move. It hides a lot of the dirt, even though you can see it right now because I have a light shining on it, but when it's on the car, you can't even tell. Uh, but the Illusion Cherry is, is such a cool color because in low light, they look pretty maroon. But let me let me turn on a flashlight here and show you what it's like when the light hits them. When the light hits them, the camera doesn't do justice, but like there's just an insane sparkle to them. So they, they really change colors. And I, I just really liked them. Had them uh, wrapped in the Michelin Pilot Sport 4S. Those were some solid tires but they gotta go. Hi there. Sorry, I haven't had time to plow yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they, these are the wheels. Um, I tried to clean the faces and the lips, so those are all good. Uh, inner barrel's a little dirty just from being on the car. And That's it. Awesome, good deal. Yeah, I can help you guys load them up too. Okay. okay. Yeah, absolutely. That's fine. Thank you. Thank you guys. Uh, have a good one. Drive safe. Right. Hope your brother enjoys the wheels. All right, we got the cash, let's go. The problem is I already spent this. This money is already spent because I'm irresponsible. But the next thing we need to do is take the Supra out in the snow because there's this huge blizzard and it's still kind of currently going on. It's like coming in waves. Uh, but I need to pick up a snack for the stream tonight. If you guys didn't know, I stream every single Wednesday, play some retro video games or play Most Wanted. And during that, I do a snack review and it's Wednesday and I don't have a snack because I procrastinate literally everything in my entire life. All right. Hopefully I don't get stuck just pulling out of the driveway because it is uh, pretty snowy. The Contis haven't done me wrong yet. chill what is it beeping about my god just that was 31 degrees relax so far so good Dude, I love these tires so much. They handle so damn good. I drove on all seasons for so many years. I don't even want to tell you guys how long. Now I'm in a rear wheel drive sports car, slammed, and it handles so good. 
don't get me wrong you'll see the traction light come on a little bit I'll, I'll feel it slipping and spinning a little bit but I stop when I need to stop and I can kick her out if I need to and regain control right away looks driving this thing in the winter. Can't believe I'm doing all this just to go get cheese, provolone cheese and a pickle to wrap in it. Sometimes that slush can get a little nasty. You can feel it pulling you a little bit. Slush sucks. Powder snow, fun. Slush, trash. Oh, oh shit, we got the big dog up here. We got the big dog. That's the guy that's ruining all my fun and keeping pedestrians safe. Thank you for your service, plow guy. I always thought rear wheel drive was trash in the snow and you shouldn't do it and then I got a rear wheel drive car and drove in the snow and it's been like the best decision I've ever made. If you get the opportunity to get a rear wheel drive car and put some snow tires on it, do it. It'll change your life. Shout out to Sean. Sean got a Mustang GT and I told him he was stupid for getting it as a winter car. I thought he'd be stuck. He put some cheap winter tires on it, gave me a ride and it changed my life. My butt's on fire. This seat heater works great. I mean, come on. Actually, this parking lot sucks. It's so bumpy. Just turn around a little bit here so I can go down this way. need to pick up cheese and pickles parking next to the cart return is the most dangerous thing I've done all week I used to work there. Now nobody's there anymore. It's sad. Is there enough snow on this roundabout to try using the roundabout the right way? Woo-hoo! <laughs> 
Those guys are going about the roundabout all the wrong way. You gotta, gotta use the roundabout. Damn, this thing is such a fucking blast to drive. Drive in the winter, best choice I ever made. But seriously, shout out to these Continental Viking Contact 7s. I love winter tires. I have the Extreme Contact Sport 02 tattooed on my arm, but I, I swear. This video gets, I don't even know. If this video gets 3,000 likes, I'll tattoo Viking Contact 7 on my arm. All right, sorry we're hopping around a little bit. That's just the way my brain works and how we do things. Uh, we did eat the cheese pickle. I'll put that clip here. So this, <laughs> it's snack time. Come hang out in the streams. It's a good time if you aren't already. Uh, but I wanted to show you guys what we're dealing with in Wisconsin and then make sure to stick around till the end because I'll tell you why I'm getting rid of all my wheels here. <laughs> oh my God. Dude, we got so much snow. Look at, this is crazy. Like if I tried to back like, the Supra out, I don't, I couldn't. I would just shove my exhaust full of snow. I don't know if video is doing it justice, but this is definitely the most snow we've had in our driveway. And the poor Jetta, look at the Jetta. She's buried. Oh my God. So yeah, this is what we're uh, dealing with. We got hit pretty heavy with snow. You can see it's literally almost like. <laughs> so I'm gonna try to plow my way out of this, uh, get the shovel out. So hopefully I can use my little tiny baby snowblower. But the reason that I'm getting rid of all of my wheels is I made one of the biggest purchases for my car that I ever have. I got something coming and it's really awesome. I checked tracking right before I started recording and it said it should be here in just a couple of days. So make sure you follow along, subscribe, like the video. And I cannot wait to show you guys this is like one of the most iconic car parts that you can get for your car you guys will see what i'm talking about comment down below what you think i got and uh we'll see you guys in the next one